Welcome to the Bill Mitchell Chat Show. Today my guest is Helen Kopeck, an artist, a musician and a writer. Welcome Helen. Thank you. How old were you when you started cello lessons? I was nine years old. I had taken piano lessons for several years. And one day, a cellist in the Toronto Symphony brought a cello to school, and he said, this is what a cello is. Would anybody like to take lessons? I was musical, and I wanted to get out of class twice a week for 45 minutes. So I said, I do, and that's how I started. Lessons were completely free. The instruments were provided by the Toronto Board of Education, the lessons, the music, the opportunity to play in student orchestras, all of that was free between grade four and grade nine. So I was very lucky. Otherwise, I, I didn't know what a cello was. I would have never started hmm. playing a string instrument. It's a wonderful beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, so how old were you when uh, you decided that you wanted to be a symphony musician? Well, I had played in the May Festival Orchestra and, and various uh, student orchestras at school. And then when I got into grade seven, I had a music teacher who was just wonderful. Once a week, he had us close the heavy black curtains. This was at Fern Avenue Public School in Toronto. And we pushed aside the tables and chairs and put mats on the floor. And we would spend the entire class lying on the floor with our eyes closed <laughs> as he played us Beethoven's Fifth Symphony and Berlioz's uh, Symphony Fantastique, talking us through it because in the Berlioz it's a it's a story with uh, each movement, march to the scaffolds, uh, a ball, a witch's dance, and I lay there listening to this music with my eyes closed, thinking. If I could be a professional symphony cellist and play Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, I would be a happy person. Hmm. And that's really when I started dreaming about it. Yeah. Uh, so what is the life of a freelance musician like? Well, it's very different from having a full-time job. I did have a full-time job with the Calgary Philharmonic for seven years. And that's a wonderful orchestra with one of the best halls, actually, in, um, in North America. Uh, and I played under Mario Bernardi, a fantastic conductor, and uh, really enjoyed it. When I got married, I moved to Atlanta, Georgia. My husband, at the time, uh, played violin in the Atlanta Symphony. So I was without a full-time job, but I gradually started freelancing and playing with, uh, playing extra with, we're called ringers. Yeah, when we yeah, play yeah. extra, we, you know, augment the orchestra yeah, for big work. Yeah. And I played with many regional orchestras, the Atlanta Symphony, the Birmingham Orchestra, Charleston, Savannah. I had a string quartet. We played many weddings and corporate events. I taught at home and eventually... Uh, because I was always interested in radio and I had done some volunteer work, I worked as a, pardon me, <clears throat> I worked as a host and producer for public radio and commercial radio. So I had a daily show, I had classical programs, I had eclectic programs, and I think that's what a freelance artist has to do, is, is put together your various skills and talents. Mm -hmm. And that seems to be the wave of the future, actually, yeah. with it in, the, in employment in general. But that's what I was able to do. And I earned a living. I, I didn't Good. get rich. Yeah. But, uh, and that's how I earn a living here in the Niagara region as well. When did you decide to start writing and why? I had always written in public school and high school. I really enjoyed it. I have a vivid imagination, which is why I didn't like to do schoolwork. I preferred to write poems and stories. And I grew up in an unusual situation in Toronto. My parents were Polish immigrants. We had a rooming house. Mm -hmm. uh, near Roncesvalles, the, where the yes, I know who it is. Polish population yeah, of Toronto yeah. lives. 
we lived on the first floor. We rented out front rooms. We had bedrooms and kitchens furnished on the second floor, the third floor, and in the basement. And we had all kinds of characters going in and out of our lives mm -hmm. all through my childhood. So I had this wonderful material dropped in my lap, and I always told my mother that one day I would write a novel about mm -hmm. growing up in this house. That was my first novel. Since then, I've written two more and many children's stories. It, it's, I love to write. It's the process That's of wonderful. writing. Uh, why did you come back to Canada? I never enjoyed the South and I didn't really enjoy living in the United States. Mm -hmm. I met many wonderful people, made friends, learned how to do radio. I had wonderful experiences and opportunities mm -hmm. there. However, the South is a conservative place, very repressive in a lot of ways. Restrictive. Restrictive mm -hmm. to a liberal mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. and. The health insurance situation in America is, is really terrible. Mm -hmm. I never felt safe there with respect to my health, but also with the violence and the number of guns that yes, people own yes. down there. So yes. whenever I visited, whenever I came back to Canada to visit, as soon as I crossed the border into Ontario, I felt safe again. Yeah. And I just missed it, and I finally made it back. These are quite common complaints with uh, native-born Canadians and who go down there and live for a long time uh, and then come back. So the last question, but certainly not the least, who is your favorite composer? I have, rather than have a favorite composer, I have favorite moments in music. For example, the transition from in Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, the bridge between the third and fourth movements, moments in Stravinsky's Rite of Spring. But I have to say that if I were to choose one composer whose music across the board, whether it's symphonies, ballets, chamber music, concertos, his music speaks to me like no one else's, and that's Prokofiev. Yeah. I love Prokofiev. I love his percussiveness, his bass drum, his 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 harmonic voice. I, I could play any Prokofiev any time. Yeah, he really is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, thank you, Helen. You're very and, welcome. Uh, it's been a real pleasure having you on the show. I'm glad to have been asked. Thank you.